how do I manage to meditate, exercise, work two jobs, have my side hustle of Athena Sayaka, and still get seven hours of sleep every night? Keep watching to find out. Hey guys, it's Athena Sayaka, and today I'm gonna talk about time management and how to be more productive. Subscribe for new videos every Thursday, and keep watching to figure out how you can pack so much into your day. If you only watch the first minute of this video, I wanna give you an actionable step which you can do immediately. Look at your day. If it's the end of the day, then look at tomorrow. But look at your day, write down everything you did and how long that took. This is the perfect way to see whether or not you're putting time into things that you care about that are actually important to you or if you're wasting a lot of your time without even realizing it. So the first step to managing your time better is to <laughs> the first step to managing your time better is to determine the difference between what is important and what is urgent to you. This is a principle that I got out of Stephen Covey's uh, book, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So there are a bunch of things every day that desire our time, but you can't get to everything, so you need to make sure that you're putting in enough time to the things that are important to you, like spending time with your family or friends. And then you also have things like schoolwork or regular work that are maybe not uh, emotionally important to you, but are important in terms of that's how you're getting your revenue. However, there are things that are urgent that require our immediate attention, such as an unplanned social event a thirsty Thursday, if you will. So once you've figured out the difference between your important tasks and your urgent tasks, and of course, sometimes they overlap, then what you wanna do is take time every morning to plan out your day. Every morning or every night, actually. Which leads me into my next point, that it's important to know when your peak hours are. Not everyone is a morning person. Some people, their peak hours are between 1 a.m. and 3 a.m., and that's totally fine. Make sure that you're putting your most important things wherever you are most effective or most productive. Okay, these last two tips are directed towards students because we, I think, are the most guilty of this. Multitasking doesn't exist. You can't do it. Your brain really can only focus and optimize for one thing at a time. So. If you've ever tried to do your homework while watching a show, you'll notice it takes three hours to complete something that if you just focused on your homework, it would be done in 30 minutes. Yes, that's not as fun and it sucks, but if you really just sit down and focus, you can decrease the time that it takes to do things you don't like to do and you'll have more time to do things that you care about. And then the second thing is learning to say, no. This seems so much harder than it is. The first no will be the hardest and then afterwards you'll start to see the benefits um, and realize that it's so important to say no. We as students need to remember that we can't do it all and that's okay. So I want you to try this week to say no just one time to something that you know would be fun but ultimately would be acting against your goals. Hey, I had some technical difficulties at the end of that video, but I pretty much said everything I needed to say. Be sure to like and subscribe, new videos every Thursday, and share this with anyone who could benefit from these tips. Bye.